So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I make a little painting on an envelope. And um, this letter is going to my friend Elena from Italy. So first what I do is um, putting the washi on for the painting reference. And then when the painting is finished, I remove the washi. I'm gonna use acrylics or um, like these ones. And I was thinking of um, doing it in a Vincent van Gogh style because last time I did it as well for the first time and it turned out pretty okay. And what I mean with the Vincent van Gogh style is like do tiny little uh, spots and then continue with that like for the whole painting so it gives like a spontaneous torch I guess so I'm gonna look for my colors if I sound a bit weird it's because every time I wake up with like a cold or an allergic reaction so If you're wondering what I'm doing like with my left hand over here, it's because I have my tablet. I will show you. Oh, yeah. So this is the picture I'm gonna try to paint. Right over here. Um, and once again, I'm like not a painter by any means, so don't judge me for that, <laughs> even though I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint, but hey. So first, what I'm going to do is um, make like a little... How are you focused? Thank you. So firstly what I'm gonna do is like make a little uh, sketch I guess of where everything has to be and I'll do it with some white paint and it's not gonna like really look like the reference or whatever because if I had to make it like the reference I had to calculate the size and stuff but it's just like a cute little thing to do on your envelope it's like something extra you know like you can make amazing designs on your envelope and stuff but if you give it like a real personal touch then it's even um better well i don't want to say better but it's more special, I guess. Um, also, obviously this envelope isn't made for painting and stuff, but it's all right. Um, I did paint on the brown envelopes before. And that was okay. So this is the first time I'm drawing or painting on these white envelopes. So I have no idea how it will turn out. I can already feel like that the envelope isn't the best for the painting. Like the brown envelopes are definitely better. But I'll see how it turns out. Like if it's totally horrible, then I will continue on another envelope, but I'll try my best. This is also like the third letter I sent to her and it's the second letter that, <laughs> which is a painting, so. Mm. I'll 
to make concentration for like a horrible sketch. <laughs> I have literally no idea how this will turn out so please don't flame me. Okay. This is the amazing sketch. <laughs> and again, I have no idea how this will turn out with the little um, Vincent van Gogh style. Because um, there's a lot of different like colors in his paintings and this painting doesn't really ha have many colors but I'll find some way to manage that. Oh yes, I'm really smart by the way. <laughs> also when you do like a lot of those different uh, swipes or whatever, it gives a bit of a 3D effect. I mean, you're already, of course, but it has more definition than just uh, on stripe. So I did the sky, and um, I'm just gonna like fill in the little gaps with blue paints, and I make sure like the top is a bit darker than the bottom, and. Then I will um, do the ocean. I was um, picking like this um, screenshot from the song because she mentioned in her letter that um, she likes to paint as well. And when she paints, she mostly paints the ocean. So I thought there was some perfect um, little painting to make for her. So I did most of the sky and now I'm gonna fill in the ocean which is a bit darker but there's some light blue over here. Um, and then like of course it's not like all finished I need more brush strokes but I will do that later. Later. So um, for the cloud, I was thinking of either do it with a tiny bit of white, uh, yellow, or a tiny bit of black. But I'll try yellow first, and I will see how it will turn out. I think yellow is alright because um, the curtains are yellowish, the floor is wooden and the balloon is yellow. But I need some more yellow. Put the floor now and I'll do the rest of the painting after. Because I'll let this dry a bit and then add more brush strokes. So for the floor we need some mustard colour and maybe some brown colour. Yeah. By the way, I have no idea if this painting will even turn out to be okay. <laughs> if I look at it right now it's like yeah what was I thinking but I'm sure it will be all right I hope so what I'm gonna do now is um, finish all the white spots that are left from of the envelope and then um, I'll finish this part 
So I added more details to the painting and I am doing the floor now and once this is finished I will um, like do little touch-ups like the balloon and the curtains and this ha his hand, Jim's hand. So I finished a little painting and I'm gonna take off the washi. Okay, careful. Okay, <laughs> I mean, the painting is not perfect. It was like a little experiment, but I still think it looks adorable on this envelope. So yeah, here's the finished painting. Um, I'll let it dry and I continue with the rest of the envelope and of course like the letter and the questions and the answers and the extras. So I'll do that right now. So lately I like to use pages from this bullet journal um, for the letter. I'm not going to show you the whole process of writing the letter because it's a personal letter. Um, for writing the letter, I use these uh, ink fine liner pens from Pigma Micron Free Fine Liners. Yeah, and I use like the uh, Five milliliter, milliliter. <laughs> I'm saying milliliter because of like my because uh, of nursing, <laughs> you know, with the injections and stuff like that. But millimeter, I mean. Okay, that's a thing card. And for brush pens, I use these adding brush pens in like some cute colors. I think I'll try to do. A blue theme because of the, the ocean uh, painting. So I will do that now. I have like a um, I have a lot of pre-made like writing paper for letters but most of the times they don't fit my theme for the letter so that's why I don't always use them. So I, I finished the letter but I popped some stickers over the text but um, right now I'm just gonna get her questions and answers and I will uh, reply to those. So on this design pad I saw this blue, um, what is it like, clouds? I don't know. Oh, here we are. So I think I will use these for the questions and answers. So I'm gonna use this one for the answers because um, I'll just like use the whole paper so I can reply with longer sentences if that makes sense um, I'm thinking of what I can do to like oh okay. um, should I write on here maybe this actually like a bit cuter uh, thinking I can write on this yeah I think I will just like reply yeah gonna do that do you Q 
keep a diary. Um, I used to, like, I have a lot of diaries, like, maybe more than six of them. And I used to start writing a diary, sorry, uh, since 2004. Um, I kept writing diaries till like 2014-ish. And then sometimes I like stopped for uh, a year and then I continued if something like happened or I made like a little summary of how like big things that happened in a year so I actually still have a diary but last time I wrote in a diary was probably like um, a couple of months ago maybe yeah yeah me in some way I still keep a diary but not really Who is your role model? Um, to be honest, I don't think I have a role model. <laughs> I can't take, I, I, I can't think of anyone. <sighs> no. If I have to pick anyone, it will be my mom. <laughs> Favorite season. Um, spring. Because the days get longer, the temperature is nice. Do you prefer giving or receiving gifts? Ah, uh, giving. I mean, I also <laughs> like um, receiving gifts, obviously, but. I prefer giving gifts. I like to make someone happy. And last question. Favorite song to sing in a car? Ooh. Um. When, um I was with my parents and my um, brother in Spain, we, uh, we were singing like the songs from Adele's uh, album. So Adele, 25 album, or <laughs> uh, but who says song? <laughs> Oh God. Is it on like Pluto? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to come around. Dancing in the dark. Can't be dancing in the dark. See, it's like super hype. Like, imagine singing this song in the car. You're like on a road trip. You have like bass bass speakers. <laughs> like, going hard. Okay, so now we go to the um, 
questions. Why is this paper not straight? Like, actually annoys me. I'll make it round. Because we like round things. Wink winky face. I can't make it round because I'm... <laughs> Sort of. I tried. I tried. I tried. Um. Yeah. That will look. That looks cute. Sometimes you just have to improvise. And that's what I'm good at. Maybe. Sometimes. Like these are uh, washi samples I got for my pimples and what I do with them is not to use for gifts, uh, gifts obviously but I like to use them for um, just to like create letters for other pimples like this. Oh my god, I'm so creative. <laughs> um, same with these stickers. These are like all the stickers or sticker flakes I got from my pampas. I won't use them for other gifts, obviously, but I will use them to um, create the questions or answers or to decorate the envelope and stuff like that for my letters or like the letters I'm gonna send out sorry if my desk is like super messy but um, my game PC is over there so I literally only have this space <laughs> if I ever move out of this apartment I want an extra room <laughs> like okay so one bathroom then um, a living room and an extra room for um, with two desks <laughs> one desk for my PC and like if I'm 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 gaming or whatever and then the other desk is for um, like art and stuff like this <laughs> but yeah um, maybe in the future. So here are the questions. Um, only need to do the playlist. At the moment there are so many songs I like. There's just too many, like I can't pick one. Um, um, I listen to a lot of Stray Kids. Okay, this is the little playlist I made. And now I only have to um, get the extras, so I'll use this one and I will gather my extras for her. So here are all the stickers I'm going to use. Um, I try to look like for blue ones or ones with the beach theme, like the pusheen ones. <laughs> um, some like water, ocean ones painting so yeah here are the stickers and these are the photo cards i picked for her and then i only have to do some sticky notes and washi tape next the sticky notes i uh, grabbed for her and my note sheets or pads um then I already need some washi tape. And here we have some washi tape. Um, because I have to make some pictures for Instagram, I won't like put everything in their envelopes yet. I'll do that after I make the pictures. 
the only thing I have to do now is finishing the envelope um, thinking what I'm gonna do so this is the final um, design for the envelope now I'm gonna make some pictures for Instagram and then the letter is finished And I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful dreamy day and I see you next time. Bye bye.